Hi, welcome to our channel, Smart Dog Lover, your prime resource for everything dog related. Today, we will be doing a comparison between two of the top three dog breeds in the world, the sweet and devoted Golden Retriever versus the loyal and outgoing Labrador Retriever. We sincerely hope our fair comparison will help you to decide which of these fantastic dog breeds is the best one for you. As usual, before beginning, we kindly ask for your support by giving us a thumbs up if you liked our video, and hit the subscribe button as well as the bell right next to it to get instant notifications about our latest content. Without further delays, please adjust to your seat because we are about to begin with our topic of the day, dedicated to two of the most beloved breeds worldwide. Origins of the Breed The precious Golden Retriever is of Scottish descent. The breeding began in the middle of the 18th century when men needed a dog to retrieve prey from hunting trips in water and land. Through that period, they remained a favorite of aristocrats and the rich. The engaging Labrador Retriever actually comes from Canada, dating back to the 16th century in the provinces of Newfoundland and Labrador, descended from St. John's Water Dog. In the 19th century, the lab was taken to England, where it was used to hunt and retrieve. So, as you can see, in spite of coming from a different part of the world, both were bred to do similar work, sharing the same retrieving quality. Size The regular measurements of male golden retrievers are 24 inches in height and 75 pounds in weight. Female golden retrievers are usually 10 pounds lighter and 1 to 2 inches shorter. Male laps are half an inch taller, growing up to 24.5 inches tall and heavier, weighing 80 pounds. Female labs are also 10 pounds lighter than the male counterpart and 2 inches shorter. Coating Just like the name suggests, the Golden Retriever comes in a variety of golden colors, varying from light yellow, almost white, to a dark copperish and beautiful shade. They have a dual layer coating. The external, long, wavy hair layer is meant to provide protection from water. The internal, short layer is for climate adaption purposes. Golden Retrievers are furry and demand frequent grooming, brushing, and shedding. Labs also have a dual layer coating with similar functionality. The external layer, or guard coat, isn't as prolific as the one the Golden Retrievers have and is slightly more rough than the internal coating, which is softer, in spite of acting as an insulator, coming in three colors, black and chocolate, and in different shades of yellow, light to copperish. Temperament Golden Retrievers are kind, lovable, loyal, friendly, and intelligent. These highly valuable qualities disqualify them as guardian dogs because of how easily they can be approached by or approach strangers. They are hardly ever shy or timid, often loving the attention. Any sign of aggressiveness is out of character. Pretty much like Golden Retrievers, Labs also have a wonderful mix of qualities, such as well-balanced, social, intelligent, active, and extremely loyal to their families. They love to please their caregivers, developing a strong bond. Labs should also be discarded as guardian dogs. Health and Lifespan Golden Retrievers are not the exception to suffering from serious medical conditions, hip dysplasia being one of the most common genetic predispositions of the breed. According to the AKC, Golden Retrievers have an average lifespan of 10 to 12 years. Labs are also prone to genetic disorders leading to hip dysplasia, elbow dysplasia, retinal dysplasia, cataracts, and hereditary myopathy, just to name a few. Labs share the same lifespan of Golden Retrievers, 10 to 12 years. Trainability Golden Retrievers are highly trainable and are often chosen to participate in community service, helping the disabled as guide dogs. They are also incredibly popular as therapy dogs, and often get picked to do special work with civil protection units. You might have spotted one working with drug detection programs. Labs share all of these qualities with Golden Retrievers. That's part of the reason behind the increasing and prolonged popularity shared by both breeds. Additionally, they are also largely in demand on-screen actors, being cast continuously on film and TV productions. Grooming Golden Retrievers are very fluffy dogs that demand considerable amounts of grooming to keep the coat shining. Brush the Golden Retriever at least every other day to remove the accumulated loose hair and redistribute the essential oils throughout the coating. Shredding is also a very critical activity you will need to undertake regularly. Bathing is needed every three to four weeks. Ear and eye inspections are obligatory to do periodically to check for unusual discharges. 
Labs need little grooming, only requiring to bathe when they have accumulated dirt. Increasing the amount of bathing more than that might cause dry skin troubles and itching. Brushing the hair once a week is enough. During a full inspection, the eyes and ears need to be checked for abnormal discharges. If necessary, they need to be wiped with a cotton ball or cloth, never a Q-tip. Physical Activity Needs Golden Retrievers enjoy physical activities. It's best to grant at least one hour of physical activity every day. They love exercising outdoors and socializing while at it. Labs tend to gain weight rather easily. This is one of the main reasons behind the constant need to ensure the dog gets physical activities each day. They love playing fetch, swimming, and even joining trekking and fishing trips. Did you make up your mind? Which one is a better option for you? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching us. We are Smart Dog Lover, your number one resource channel for everything dog related. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed our video and hit the subscribe button to stay on top of every insightful new content we have uploaded.